good morning everyone so this is a continuation of the previous uh, lecture so previous lecture we have discussed uh, two properties of the system that is a uh, memory and without memory and uh, linearity concept now in this lecture we are going to discuss the causality uh, property <coughs> a system is causal if the output at any time depends on are only on values of the input at the present time as well as the past time right so very simple causality is mean the present output will depend on the present input as well as the past input now what is this meaning is <coughs> it is like a, it is non anticipatory non anticipatory means so I cannot uh, anticipate the future values of the input so you should get the present outputs <coughs> now suppose y of t is equal to x of t minus 1 plus x of t now how can we say that the system is causal suppose y of 0 so at time equal to 0 what is the values of the inputs we have to see now this is the present input present in output this one is a past input Suppose if I take y of minus 1, so this will become x of minus 2 plus x of minus 1. Present versus present, this is past. <coughs> and we have to see for the positive values also. This is x of 0 plus x of 1. So these two are the present and this one is the past. So we can say the system is causal. Right? Suppose one more example, we will take x, phi of t is equal to x of t minus x of t plus 1 is there. Now, if I substitute y of 0, so this is x of 0 minus x of 1. Now, see, so this is 2 are the present, but this is the future value of the input. So, we can say simply, it's a non-causal. Or we can say it is an anticipatory system. That is, anticipatory means, so due, due to the future values of the input, we are finding the present value of the output. So, that's why it's called anticipatory. <coughs> So this is how to find the causal and non-causal systems. See, we don't conclude either one or two values. So at least two positive values, two negative values. Sometimes if some square root is given, so at least square root of two or square root of three, etc. We need to do. So at least two, three times we have to see. But the moment when it is at a single value, if we are getting non-causal, so we can say non-causal. But for the causal system, we have to verify some, I mean, at least two, two three values of the different values of the time. <coughs> Next one is a time invariant. It's very simple. Time invariant means with the time, the output should not vary. That is the meaning. A system is time invariant if the behavior and characteristics of the system are fixed over time. That means, suppose if y of t is equal to x of t is something like this if x of t is delayed by some t t naught so output also should, should be delayed by t naught only so whatever the time changes at the input same time changes should be occur at the output so that is a time invariant but suppose one problem is given how to find it is a invariant time invariant or time variant suppose y of t is equal to some sin x of t is given right so there is a fixed procedure first what we will do here is y1 of t we will find that is for the sin x1 of t so for x1 of t what is the output next we will see we will put y2 of t is equal to sin x2 of t now if i take x2 of t is equal to x1 of t minus t naught that is some delayed version of the x2 right so what is y2 of 2 will become sine of x1 of t minus t naught right in place of t we'll get t minus t naught here so that is the y2 of t <coughs> suppose if i make y1 of t with some delayed that is output is delayed now so what is happening here sine of x1 of in place of t we are putting t minus t naught similarly here also t minus t naught <coughs> so whenever y1 of t minus t naught and is equal to y2 of t so we can say the system is time invariant see 
same values we are getting x1 of t minus t naught x1 of t minus t naught right whenever y2 of t is equal to y1 of t minus t naught so we can say it is a time invariant right whenever these two are not equal so it is called time variant that is with time the output is varies so one more example we will see 